Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Hot summer's day, but the coming week it will be 110 degrees Fahrenheit for almost four days. So, we have to prepare ourselves. The first thing that is happening is the potting of the Pavlovnias. Why now? This is the middle of summer. The Pavlovnias came up here by themselves, uh, sprouted from the roots of the Pavlovnia cuttings we had in here a the previous year and then it started look over there killing all the other cuttings because they are deprived from sunlight it was a complete cover of one meter one and a half meter tall palofnias six months growth I had this covered under the shade net because these plants are now not used to the sun. They will have to be exposed slowly. Some citrus, mulberries, some bushes, some sweet cucumbers, figs, mulberries and willows and some herbs I look forward to this we moved all these Pavlovnias 80 of them they are now here under this beautiful old oak tree I did some experiments some I made sure I keep as much of the sand around the roots as than others some I pollarded completely only two of them I too scared most of them I just took off a lot of leaves some le some of them I left all the leaves they must now do their thing here. Um, it would be great to transplant them into the farm this winter. Um, either November or February. I've even placed some roots in here of the Pavlovnia to see if that grows. This I did last night, these this morning. I will place more uh, hay on the side, straw, mulch, cover the pots. And there's not much sun here, a lot of dappled uh, shade. I think it should be good for meantime but as I said it's going to be hot for at least four days and they must survive we have combed the farm for dry wood to prepare firewood for the winter this is wood that has been in the Sun for two years very very dry we are slowly processing it now and then we'll go be stacked on the pellets there's also some green olive in here the tree that a branch came down so the first thing is to separate the twigs from the bigger branches and then put them together 
and then put them on here and cut them with a chainsaw good job I like it another interesting job we just started today here at the creek is to build a bridge for the excavator and other farm equipment to cross now as always where and how um, this is the middle of the creek so maybe it's a good way uh, it's a perfect place to to put it because it has access if I put it higher I cannot get to it put it lower it's too one-sided the rickety bridge should go and now the idea is to tee it in cut into this uh, bank and then go up to the, the bedrock and key in here in the side as well have a solid wall of uh, cinder blocks filled with concrete but to have two of them and uh, now should I combine it in the middle to have walls like an H shape and then cover it, fill it in and cover it with um, concrete which is a great job it's actually I was thinking to leave it in two walls connected in the middle and <coughs> then let the water spill over go down and carry on I need some advice on this and I can place 16 millimeter thick wooden beams on, on top that will do the trick to get the excavator safely across I will have it at least 1 meter 20 wide the excavator is only 80 so that is good I need some ideas I'm not good at these things till the next hot days goodbye